Today, I have the pleasure of speaking to Anthony Tennyson on day one. It's your first day of trading today, is that correct? It, it is indeed, Tracy. It's, it's an absolute pleasure. It's, it's exciting. It's a pleasure, but uh, it's great to be here. Well, it's my understanding you're a biotech company that is going to develop psychedel- psychedelics for treatment. Is that correct for health and me- mental wellness? Um, actually, we're, we're, we're strategically focusing on, on using psychedelic drugs and therapies to better treat addiction rather than, than mental health and, and wellness. Okay. And let's start with why you would go to the public markets. It's my understanding you have some background in finance. Would you mind introducing yourself to us? Yeah, sure, absolutely. So, um, yeah, I've, I've, I've a bit of background in, in finance. Um, I worked with Merrill Lynch straight out of uni. So I worked in the capital market side with Merrill Lynch for a couple of years. I also worked with Bank of Ireland, which is the largest bank in Ireland, also on the capital market side. Then for, for, for my sins, sins, I did an MBA and I worked for a company called Aon, which is one of the world's largest professional and financial services companies. Um, I ended up in, in relatively senior positions at a global level with them in their risk consulting business as well. But I always wanted to do something more entrepreneurial. Um, and I've got, you know, like many people who, who've come into the psychedelics industry, I have a personal, personal history and story as to why I'm motivated uh, to help solve some of these problems. And that was just a natural fit that, that led me towards this industry and to co-found and lead Awaken Life Sciences. So the reason for this interview is I was particularly intrigued with the use of uh, you've um, the only company in the world, I'm quoting you, I'm quoting your company, providing evidence-backed ketamine-assisted psychotherapy for alcohol use addiction. Okay, take it away. Help us understand this. Well, so, so we will be the first company, the only company in the world when we open our clinic. So we're, we do development and delivery. So we're developing the therapies and then we will be delivering those therapies in clinics as we open them up across the UK and the EU. So what we've done is we've acquired the IP from the world's only clinical trial assessing the effectiveness of ketamine assisted psychotherapy to treat alcohol use disorder. Alcohol use disorder affects 5% of the global population. And those people that are lucky enough to be treated, there's a 70% relapse rate within the first 12 months. Uh, alcohol, the alcohol use disorder industry accounts for 30% of the global in addiction treatment industry. So it's a massive problem. It's a problem that isn't being effectively treated. That leads to significant problems for individuals, their families, and their communities. We believe that ketamine-assisted psychotherapy will be proven to be more effective at treating alcohol use disorder than the current treatments available. And that is why we acquired the IP from that clinical trial. And that is why we are delivering that, or we will be delivering that therapy in our clinics as we open them up, open them up across the UK and EU this next year and into the future. But we'll also be looking to license those, that therapy into the North American market in due course so that people can be helped, so we can help people in the UK, the EU, and the US as well. Okay, well, a question for you. 5% seems utterly and preposterously low. I think all of us have had someone in our lives or been affected by alcohol addiction, either directly or indirectly. Um, So when you said these clinics that you'll be rolling out with Awaken, we should anticipate these in the upcoming year, or when exactly will we have access to this treatment? Yes. So listen, as an Irish guy, I think that 5% number just upon anecdotal evidence seems quite low, but that's the WHO and they are the authorities in this space. But there's 700 million people across the UK, the EU, uh, US and Canada. Uh, So 5% of that, that's about 35 million, I think, if my maths is okay today. Um, So we're going to be opening up clinics, three clinics in the UK this year. Um, another five clinics in the UK next year before we then move outside the UK into Ireland next year and then moving into continental Europe in the coming years. Ultimate goal is to have 20 clinics open across the UK and the EU by the end of 2024. Well, I can tell you after publishing this interview, my email inbox will be flooded with, is he raising any more money and how can I get in? So talk to us about that. Are you raising any money for this? And uh, what are your plan- what's your plan of action? I noticed, for instance, you listed on the NEO exchange. Are you yeah. planning on listing anywhere else? Why did you select the NEO exchange? Well, yeah, we, we, we traded on the NEO exchange today under the ticker AWKN. So if anyone wants to get involved in our story, and if anyone wants to help us help individuals, 
families and communities that are suffering from addiction, then they should get onto the Neo Exchange and see and look to, to, to start trading our stock. Um, yeah, absolutely. Look, we, we've got a long development pathway across, you know, a long, long strategic pathway across our development activities and our delivery activities. And sure, in due course, we will be going back to the markets to look to raise money, but that will be at a time, a strategic time of, of our own choosing. But really, if people want to get involved in our story and help us help those people that need to be helped, it's in our ticker there on the NEO exchange. Um, you know, we chose the Canadian stock exchange or the Canadian market because that's just a great, great place to start a company and start an industry like this. Anthony, thank you so much for joining us today. We wish you the absolute best of luck. And we would love to have one of these uh, uh, incredibly brilliant members of your team uh, do an interview as well in the future. So I hope you'll allow us to interview, uh, for instance, Professor David Nutt. I would be more than happy. And in fact, I know me, David would be more than happy to come on here, as would Professor Celia Morgan, Dr. Laurie Higbed, Dr. Ben Sessa, and Dr. Sean McNulty. These people are, are giants in the, in the industry, and um, they are far more eloquent than I am. Oh, I, I, I'm sure they will uh, they question that. Again, thank you, everybody. Thank you for joining us today, and best of luck to the group from Awaken Life Sciences. Thank you.